first step. We just got to the airport. The team is all here. This is only about half of our luggage. We already sent some of it through. Uh, it's finally starting to feel real. This is the first thing we see entering Beijing right when we get off the aircraft. Just uh, dozens of people in hazmat suits. All right, this is the first stop. We just got off the plane. There's already a line forming. Uh, the officials have said that the whole process is supposed to only take 45 minutes from when you land to testing and going through customs and immigration and getting your baggage and all the testing till you go to the hotel. So we'll see how that goes. This is it. Welcome to Beijing. It's the welcome committee. <laughs> We just had the first of what will be dozens of dozens of tests that we get here in China. But what I like is that there's so much Olympic branding right next to the testing center, you know? <laughs> so from the second we got off the airplane, the Olympic bubble officially started. We've kind of been quarantined off by people in hazmat suits. We actually went the wrong way on the elevator once and it, the doors opened and immediately there were like a dozen people in suits saying, no, do not come this way. So there's a physical barrier. You know when you go the wrong way. Uh, we have made it here though. We picked up all of our bags and now we're about to get onto these buses. Again, this is all still part of the bubble from baggage claim to getting on the transport buses. All of this is contained and we're gonna get on these buses and go to the hotel next. Getting our first glimpse of Beijing out the bus windows, but uh, we cannot leave the bus. This is part of the quarantine from the airport onto the bus, heading to the hotel. We're even in a special designated Olympic lane on the highway. Just got to our hotel. The bus is part of the bubble, taking us from the airport to the hotel. Once we're here, you can see we're actually uh, physically boarded up. So we're not allowed to leave unless it's in one of these approved buses. Oh, we finally made it to our hotel rooms, finally got to take my mask off, but we're reminded uh, that we cannot leave the room until we would get those results back from our PCR test. So for now, we wait. Hotel just called, got the news, I'm negative, and they even dropped me off Oreos, a little taste of home. So this means that while we're still in the Olympic bubble, at least I can leave my hotel room and get to see a little bit of the city. Look, there's even the bird's nest. The media center, there are a ton of robots from these guys that cook your meal to other robots that drop down from the sky to deliver your food. To go to the Olympics, you have to download this app onto your phones, My 2022. And starting two weeks before you even get to the country, you have to download health information every single day. So your temperature, any symptoms of COVID, you have to show this to get into the country. We're not allowed to bring any company owned phones or computers into China because pretty much we were told that you should expect the Chinese government to be listening and watching everything you do online the second you get there. So uh, everyone got new burner phones. Uh, also, this is burner laptops. Uh, everything has to be secure. All right, of all the robots here in Beijing, we've met this guy. Mr. Robot Bartender is by far the most popular. It's the first he grabs the ice, then the liquid. He has the glass in hand. And now it's time for the best part where he can really show up his flair and bartender skills. Look at him go. Even the robot has to get a COVID test. I kid you not, they just swabbed the robot and are now giving him a PCR test. We have the perfectly made robot mocktail. Mm, cheers!